I've been working for Ford Motor Company for 25 years at the dealership level, and uh, I was looking for an opportunity to move out of that environment and to get into something maybe a little less stressful, although I love working for Ford. And this opportunity came up at uh, the Auto Spa Lube Center, and uh, it was through my wife who had been working here for Ehab Shaheen, and uh, she said they were looking for somebody to run their lube center. And uh, I was so fortunate that God opened that door for me to come in here. And I've been here now for a year and a half and uh, I really love it. At this lube center, I'm in charge of all the daily operations. Uh, I look after recruiting, I look after ordering product, I look after scheduling workers, any customer issues I, I deal with. I've empowered some of my employees who have been here with me for over a year now that they now are able to do many of the things that I was doing and I'm able to oversee all the, the, daily, the daily work that goes on and, and it makes my job a lot easier when I have very good employees that are able to, to cover for me and, and many of the facets of this business. Um, the Jiffy Lube Center is, is only part of what we have here. We have a, a complete detailing for automobiles which is great for us because it brings in a lot more traffic. We have a, the longest tunnels car wash in North America, 265 feet. We have a belt that uh, details the cars. We have two uh, centers over here that do detailing for customers that want to leave their vehicles for a few hours. And we also have seven, and, seven uh, uh, bays where they can actually clean their own cars. And it's, uh, it's just a great facility. There's a beautiful waiting room uh, that has a, a cafe where you can order food and coffee. And, and it's just a complete facility for people to come and get their vehicles beautified and lubed and looked after maintenance-wise. One of the business practices that I always emphasize on at uh, our Auto Lube Center is integrity. And this, there's, it's a two-fold system. Number one is customers know what they expect when they come in. And we want to make sure that we do everything that we say we're going to do. So we want to make sure that we put in the proper amount of oil, the right oil filter. We want to make sure we lube the doors. We want to make sure we grease the front end. We want to make sure we check all the levels. And then when it comes to reminding or showing customers things that they may need by their OEM recommendations, that's really important that we do that in a way that's it's absolutely honest that the customer knows that we're not trying to sell them things they don't need. So if we have an air filter that we can show them and the air filter is dirty, we explain it to them that what the air filter does and we tell them why they need it. If they, we, we explain to them when it's recommended and then the cabin filter, wiper blades, light bulbs, any of those things. And if the customer wants to get it done, we can do it. We quote them how much it's gonna be. And if they don't, we can, some things we can tell them they can wait until the next service. So we don't have to do everything today. It's uh, really important for our customers to know that they don't have to be pressured to buy a lot of services today. Many customers, when we go and present it in a professional manner, then they will want to get the service done because they want to keep their vehicles maintained, especially today, but the cost of gas and other expenses high, people want to maintain their vehicles, but they want to know that they're not paying for things they don't need. Part of the reason I'm a Christian is because people told me about Jesus Christ and the forgiveness he had for me. So when I went back into the workplace as a Christian, my most important thing for my employees was to show compassion and care for them. Some of them don't understand because they're not Christian, but a lot of them do. And I've been able to use that uh, philosophy at my workplace to, to extend compassion to my workers. And how we do that is, for example, they don't always do everything the way they're supposed to do it. We're human and we make mistakes. As a Christian, we can go to God and ask for forgiveness for the things that we make mistakes with Him. But when you're a worker at a company and your boss is a Christian and he comes out to you and, he, and you're not wearing your glasses or you're, you're putting in the wrong oil or you put in the wrong oil, rather than berate them and, and embarrass them, the idea is to go out and talk to them and, and show compassion to them uh, explain to them what, how to do it, and even if they make the mistake again, there may be a time when I want to take them upstairs, talk to them a little louder, but I still want to extend to them the, the grace that they need because people come here for, everybody has something going on at their home, everybody has something going on at their life, and they do bring it to work, and a lot of people say, leave your problems at the door, you know, and I don't say that. If you've got problems, you want to come in here and talk about it, I'd sooner you bring it here, lay it on the table, let's talk about it, let's pray about it, and then you're able to go to work. I had one guy today already come in and he was late. And he said, I have issues at home. And I said, do you want to take the day off? He said, are you sending me home? And I said, no, I'm not sending you home. I just want to know if you need to, time to work it out, then you're, you're able to do that. I think it's really important as a, as a boss to extend compassion to my workers. I think they feel a lot freer. And I know that I've been given compassion in my life to be a boss. And when I go home, I need to be careful how I 
treated my employees. At the end of the day, I got to talk to my God and tell him that I, I ask forgiveness for the way I talk to my employees. So compassion for various reasons. I, I sometimes pray with my employees over uh, loved ones that are sick, issues that they're going through. I don't force it on them. I just ask them if that's if they'd like to pray, and most times they always want to. And anytime you can take something off your shoulders and give it to God, it makes you feel a lot better and you're able to work through the day much better. So there's no reason why none of us in the workplace can't show compassion to our workers. And it really works and makes them much better workers. We want to be able to not just be a Christian on Sunday. We need to be a Christian every single day of the week. And two of the things that we pray for and the two of the things that we really want to emphasize is the fact that when we go to work, we want to work as unto the Lord. And when I come and work for my boss here, I want to work for him as if God himself was here. And I want to be honest and I want to be uh, to treat my customers properly. And these are the things my wife and I do the very first thing in the morning is to give the day to the Lord and ask him to go before us, to prepare us that we would be able to work. And he wants us to have a good day. But <clears throat> we're going to run into a lot of issues sometimes, especially in the... And any, any job, it's not, it's not just the automotive segment, but any job that you would run into issues. And if God's already gone before you, then you just need to trust that he's already looked after. Mm -hmm. Every aspect of my life is for God. So when I come to work, this is a ministry. Wherever I am as a ministry, there's nothing that I should be doing that wouldn't be something that I wouldn't be a light. I don't necessarily preach, and I don't preach here, but the ethics and the work that I do uh, has to reflect that, I, that I'm a Christian. And the way I do that is I, I believe that's uh, by working diligently, by being, uh, being concerned that my, the boss here, the owner here, is, is, makes a profit and that we do it in an honest way and that we look after our customers. So the ministry part of it is the way we work. And I believe that everything that we do in our lives is, is a ministry. And it's, uh, I think if you can go out in the workplace or be in, on a baseball team or, and I race cars and that's where my greatest ministry is. Uh, but even here, even at work, uh, it's a ministry. It's an opportunity to work and show people how you work differently. And uh, I want to instill that, but it's also instilled in me to do that here. I love cars and I love automobiles and of course they come with people and I love people. And I've worked for many, many men over the years at different various Ford dealers and other uh, industry related automotive uh, services and, and I love the automobile industry. I think it's really important. I think it's important for people in the automotive industry to have all those things we talked about earlier, integrity and, integrity and compassion because it needs to survive. It doesn't matter what industry you're in in North America. Corruption is at every single level, whether it's somebody changing oil or it's somebody owning and operating a business. And God has put me in this industry, and I've I had the experiences over the years to do it with integrity, to handle my employees with compassion, but to work on cars, whether you're a customer's buying something that he doesn't need, then that's false. God doesn't want you to do that. Or whether you're working on a, a Ford truck where Ford Motor Company is paying for the warranty and you're lying to Ford. God doesn't want you to do that either. So the integrity goes right from the top to the bottom. And I believe that he's put me here to be, to exercise those, those important aspects of what he teaches us is to be honest and to be, to be, have, exercise tremendous integrity all the time. And sometimes an owner might say, boy, you shouldn't have done that because we just lost a sale. Yeah, but you know what? We lost a sale, but we're never going to get in trouble for lying to the big corporate industry. And I think that's so important.